Okay, so um, here we have a problem that relates to transfer price. So it says Grizzell Motors manufactures specialty tra tractors. It has two divisions, a tractor division and a tire division. The tractor division can use the tires produced by the tire division. And the market price per tire is $80. The tire division has the following cost per tire. Direct materials cost is $17. Conversion costs per tire are a dollar. So if you remember back early on, conversion costs will be our direct labor and our manufacturing overhead. It says assume that the $1 includes only the variable portion. Fixed manufacturing overhead cost for the year expected to be $80,000. The tire division expects to manufacture 40,000 tires this year. The fixed manufacturing overhead cost is $2, which is the 80,000 divided by the 40,000 tires. So we are asked to assume that the tire division has excess capacity, meaning it can produce tires for the tractor division without giving up any of its current tire sales to outsiders. So if Grizzell Motors has a negotiated transfer price policy, what is the lowest success, acceptable transfer price? A negotiated transfer price policy. What is the lowest acceptable transfer price? Okay, so now the general rule of thumb here is that we need to cover our variable costs. And the variable costs will be the direct materials per tire plus the conversion cost, or $18. So we would go ahead and that's the minimum that we would be accepting would be the $18 transfer price. Now the question also it asks, what is the highest acceptable transfer price? So that very highest that either party would accept. And in this case, if you think about it, the um, manufacturer would want to get market and that would be the highest acceptable transfer price. They couldn't at, expect to get more than market value because the buying division would just go elsewhere for that tire. Next question asks, now what if Brazil Motors has a cost plus transfer price policy, a full absorption costing plus 10%, what then would the transfer price be? Now under absorption costing, remember all product costs would be included. That includes your variable and your fixed cost. So if that's the case, we would take the $17 direct materials cost plus the dollar conversion cost, so that's $18 of variable cost, plus we have $2 of fixed cost, that's $20, and then we need to multiply that times the cost plus 10%, which is 1.1. If we do that, we get a price of $22. So they would wanna charge at least $22 for that if they use the cost plus pricing model. And the last question here says, if the tire division is currently producing at capacity, meaning sell selling every tire it produces, what would be the fairest transfer price? Well, if it's already selling everything it's producing, then the absolute fairest price would be market because that's what they can go and get elsewhere.